Hey yo, what is up my beloved hashtag champions fam? It's the bad guy, the Omni villain, Zeke 410, back with a brand new WWE Champions video. And today we are here with some brand new exclusive four star gold WWE Champions gameplay on none other than one of the founding fathers of the WWE that we know today. Without this man, there would be no Hulk Hogan, brother. Without this man, there wouldn't be no Stone Cold Steve Austin. Or if you smell what The Rock is cooking, there would be no Undertaker. There would be no, you can't see me, John Cena. There wouldn't be no Big Dog Roman Reigns. Because this man was the first man to do it. This man helped put wrestling on the map. He and the Madison Square Garden Arena MSG are synonymous with one another. They go hand in hand for the good times and the bad. I am talking about none other than the Italian strongman, technician legend, Bruno San Martino. So let's go ahead and dive right into it and check out his specs, y'all. It's been long overdue. I've been wanting a guy like this to show up. And hey, maybe, just maybe, maybe we'll see the original nature boy, Buddy Rogers, show up. Maybe we might see Pedro Morales. Maybe we might see Luthez coming quite soon rather than later. Because this is December 2019's. Christmas Chaos MLC, baby! And it's showing nothing but love to the legends that set forth the path of the wrestlers that we know and love today. And quite frankly, every wrestler that I know of has always paid homage to Bruno San Martino. Rest in paradise, baby. I know you are. Let's get right into it. Let's check him out. First and foremost, we're going to see something interesting because he double up. He, I repeat, he d d doubles up on his move build, y'all, because there's a plethora here. He's got two green moves. He's got two blue. He's got two reds, baby. Let's see what the Italian strongman's packing for us right here and now. First, we have the finisher, the body slam. It's going to be dealing 37k damage and allowing us to choose gems to destroy before pinning the opponent. So he's going to be doing mad damage with that finisher. You're going to want to get it off as soon as possible. Then we have the punch flurry dealing 24.5k damage and making random gems into green gems. Then we have the shoulder block, y'all. The shoulder block is going to be dealing 18k damage. But, but, double whammy here, double dipping with the damage, baby. He's also going to be dealing 15k damage, bleed damage, that is, to opponents for five turns. Imagine if you get that to stack, just the thought of the future possibilities. Then we have the Canadian backbreaker. I smell the bacon sizzling Dealing 22k damage and allowing you to, sh to destroy random red gems. Okay, so we got some cycling going on here. And finally, the last moves here. We got the belly to back suplex. Dealing 26k damage and making random red gems into green gems. Another way to cycle. And finally, here we go. That shoulder hold. Submission. Placing four submission gems down on the board, dealing 8.7k damage for six turns. And if those submission gems remain after those six turns have concluded, they will turn into silence gems. So let me break this down to you. Botch gems, zero damage, but you get MP. Silence gems, you receive gem damage, but you cannot gain MP. So as you can see right here, we got a couple subtle builds right here. We got a couple ways to run this guy and wreak some havoc. Italian style. Italiano mafioso. Magnifico. Let's go. Hit him up. Coaching ability from 300 right when you unlock him up to 5k three-star silver. Green submission moves will be dealing 10% 
to 25% to 35% to 50% more damage per turn. Mm. But then at 9K, four-star bronze, baby, not only will these submission moves, green submission moves, be dealing 50% more damage per turn, but green submission moves will last one more additional turn. This is going to be very pivotal. Pivotal. Hmm, I made a new word. Pivotal. Very pivotal. For mm, I can't get it out, but I'm going to finish it anyway. When it comes to dealing with some defensive champions, defensive champions, I love them. Silence gems, immobile gems, botch gems, submissions. Allows you to get a little sip of the bubbly, if you understand what I'm saying. Now, when it comes to Lynx, he's the Italian strongman. Now, granted, that's a powerhouse epithet, in my opinion. But for Bruno, I'll make an exception. And when you got the guy, one of the forefathers of wrestling culture, all he needs is a boost to his gem damage, you know? He's getting that MBT Brock Lesnar love right here, you know? He's got it. He's holding it down. Now, quite frankly, I will say this. I do think that Legends should get another boost. They should get another type of boost when it comes to them. They're the forefathers, the foremothers of the culture. They deserve a little more love. And granted, he doesn't need another gear. Maybe he will get one later on. Who knows? You know, we'll see what happens. But ultimately, look at this guy. He's ready to go. The Italian stallion, wheeling and dealing, ready to wreck anybody who gets in his way. Now, we're going to start off this match, and all three matches are going to be against Tricksters, y'all. We're going to do it a little bit different, because I got three builds I want to showcase. Regardless of if we win or lose, I'm going to show Bruno the proper respect that he is owed and dude. So the first one is going to be the Body Slam. Dealing that 37k damage, allowing us to choose gems to destroy before pinning the opponent. But then we're rolling with the double blue, the punch flurry, and the belly to back suplex. Turning random gems and red gems into green gems. So Zawal Cardo all day. Pretty much, we can either hit the pin. Before we hit the pin, we go ahead and choose a bunch of greens to, you know, double up on that damage. And get the finisher back. Or, we could go ahead and indulge in the blues. So we can cycle again and again until our opponent is dead and knocked out cold. Because he was one cold mother. Shut your mouth. Now for this trainer ability, this trainer ability and build, this is what we're going to be doing here when it comes to the love. We got Jerry the King Lawler for blue MP. We got Razor for more green gems. So we got 20 gems that could be on the board, y'all. 20 green gems on the board dangerous we got oscar for that berserker mode if we lose 30 percent more health in one turn we're going to be able to come back and hit like a freight train because you see that damage 4k damage oh my god that's that's mad love right there and finally we got Uso, J Uso that is reducing submission turns so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start this off against burn it down the undisputed future Seth Rollins, we will be right back shortly. I am pumped because I've been looking forward to Bruno being in the game, so I am going to take advantage. Let's get it done. And we are back with the first match, y'all. We got Bruno San Martino taking on Seth Rollins, the past versus the future who will be victorious now as you all know we got a similar build and move set and we know how Seth Rollins get down we already know how the boy gets down y'all so we gotta see what he's gonna do he can be quite unpredictable at times so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take out those red gems real quick we're gonna load up on that green nah uh, sand nah sand oh boom easy load up and remember y'all I don't believe in perks like that I'm not spending my coins on that. So this is what you see, what you get. Just an MP trainer right out the gate, baby. So we got that going there. And then we're going to unload again. We're going to just see what happens for kicks and giggles. Again, we could go for the green. Load, up, load it all up. He's going to take a wild card. There we go. He's going get to get another one. I'll give it to him. We might have made a fool's mistake, a fool decision. But it's all good. It's all good. Look at the damage. Look at the damage already. We're about to end this dude's career, man. See? And he's okay. He's going to do all that damage to us. I know that was 
a decent amount of damage there. So you already know what's going to be happening. Asuka's ability, her coaching ability is going to kick in for us. Maybe, maybe not. We're about to find out, baby. We're about to find out. We're going to deal some damage here. All right. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to deal some damage and we're going to look around at this board. We're going to see what we can do here, okay? We're going to choose what to destroy and what not to. So we're going to destroy that because we're going to get that blue up. You know we're going to get that blue up right there. We're going to destroy that loot gem right, uh, loot, uh, loot box gem right there. Hmm. We're going to destroy those right there. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm loving it. We might get a Zawal card though. And we do. And we do. What are you going to do, Seth? What are you going to do? Okay. Decent damage. Decent damage. We might have a problem. We might have a problem. Okay. He's going to unload another blue move. Okay. Let's see what you do, man. Let's see what you do. It's all good. Bruno's still safe. His health is still safe. So it isn't over yet. Okay. He's going to hit us with the choose move. That's one reason why Seth is one of the best aged units in WWE champions, y'all. He's hands down one of the best. Doesn't matter what you say about tier list. Tier list help but hinder. That's just my opinion personally. But he's still a useful unit. Now, we're in a fickle pickle right here. But I'm not worried about it. I know that Bruno's going to get the job done. There's nothing to worry about here. It's not about getting the three star on the match all the time. The point is, how good of a unit is this man? How good of a unit is he? And we're going to find out once again. So we got some reds down on the board. We're going to hit him up with another Zawal Cardo. And plus they're a little bit over the place here. So now we can unload. And more than likely, Seth is going to be done. So, nothing to worry about, y'all. Sometimes, yeah, I try to aim for that uh, three-star finisher. I try to, you know, because people want that. People want to see if you can pull it off or not. Me, I'm just excited to be running Bruno San Martino, yo. So, we're going to drop those right there. Okay. Now, again, and we're going to destroy some blues while we're at it, too. So we're going to get it done one way or the other. We got wild cards for days. Just look at it. Look at the damage. You're going to see the other champion YouTubers. Gerson, DJ NIZT, Big Papa Brian, David Boy, and my boy Benny. They're going to be running this dude like clockwork and put my, my stuff to shame. But I'm just a kid in the candy store right now. This is one of my favorite wrestlers. And... Like I say all the time, y'all, by the time you see this video, he's already been removed from my account. So, it is what it is. It is what it is. But we're going to move on to our next opponent. And that's right. We're talking about you, Cactus Jack. Bang, bang. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. This time around, we're going to be running things a little bit differently with my man, Bruno, okay? We're going to try to make this short, sweet, and brief under 20 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes tops, okay? So let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling and grooving. This time around, we're going to be running double green with the red. Now, this is the reason why I want to run this. First and foremost, you got to think about what's going on here. You got a finisher that allows you to choose the gems that you can use, right? So that means we can cycle some things here. There's a couple things we can do. First, we got the option of the Canadian backbreaker, the secondary green. That's going to allow us to destroy red gems on the board so we can get that shoulder block off to deal that damage plus the bleed damage for five turns. Milking the opponent, bleeding them out, being very tactful about this, being a tactician about it. Then we also have the body slam finisher itself, allowing us to destroy green gems so we can cycle over and over again. So basically it's easy. You get your greens loaded up, you get destroy the you destroy those red gems, you get the bleed in full effect. Then you also decide if you choose to do so as well, if the board doesn't go for an early pin, right? You then hit your finisher, you destroy some greens, you destroy some more, and you lock and load again. And maybe if you get enough reds down and destroyed, you know, you can continue that bleed cycle so it doesn't end. And you can continue to bleed them out and bleed them out. Sometimes I find utility in champions. It's not just about, oh, two turn done. Speed is everything. Not everything's going to be for few, Joe. Sometimes you need you get put in some bad situations and you need a solid opt out. And Bruno's going to prove this. So we're going to see what happens. And this way to solidify it, allow me to show you. We got the body slam, obviously. We got the Canadian backbreaker. So what are we going to do? Double green. Well, we got Legend Steel for green MP. We got Barrett for destroying red gems. 
So we're going to be able to get that bleed off. And of course, we got Asuka for that Berserker mode damage if we lose 30% or more health in one turn. And of course, we got Jay for that submission reduction for technicians. So we're going to go ahead and hop into this match against Bang Bang, another trickster, Cactus Jack. Stay tuned. Let's see what happens with this build. And here we are, y'all. Round two, baby. Let's get into it. Let's see what's going to happen. Let's see what happens when the hardcore legend faces one of the true legends. Now, right out of the gate, we got a solid build right here. We got our red and we got our green. So it's going to make it easier for us to cycle. It's definitely going to make it easier to cycle. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to destroy this. We're going to destroy, uh, destroy some reds. And we're also going to leave some reds on the board. Well, never mind, because it shows otherwise. So there we go. Okay, so we got two options here. We can either do a wild card, but we're going to do the shoulder block first. We're going to implement the bleed. Definitely going to implement the bleed. Now, we could take that little wild card right there to do additional damage. And you know what? We're just going to do it because I was looking at the board and I think, oh, maybe if I drop it, it's just going to go to a four row break. And we're going to get our finisher anyway, guaranteed. So we might as well capitalize and we're getting mad damage too. And again, watch what's going to happen with that bleed damage once these turns kick in. So this is going to make it harder for him to kick out later on if we don't kill him. So the bleed is in effect. And remember, bleed lasts even during your pinning. Uh, pinning. Uh, so three turns, three uh, for one, two, three, that bleed is going to be implemented. Now we hit the body slam. We're going to do an additional 37K. So we're going to do that. That's going to drop health right there. And we got gems to destroy. Now we already got one move that's already going to destroy red, uh, destroy red gems. So what we should do here, we could easily go after those red gems or we can do something else. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to destroy that. I'm going to destroy those, and I'm also going to take a take a moment to ba -ba 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 -ba, destroy some additional reds too. So we're going to get some greens loaded up. We're going to get things sorted out, and the bleed's still implemented. So we still he's still bleeding, and we're going to keep on working. Is it going? Is it something that's fast paced? No, but look at the look at the bleed damage. It's just deadly, man. It's just dangerous. Dangerous. And once again, keep this in mind, y'all. No perks involved. No perks involved at, uh, at all. And he got gave us the pen. Now, this is what's cool about this. We're going to get out of this. We're definitely going to get out of this. So we're going to look around. What did I, what have I found? There we go. We're going to take those out. We're going to take those out of commission, right? Now we're going to go ahead and do the Canadian backbreaker again. Now he's got a submission on, uh, going on. So with, thankfully, Uso is going to come through. And he's done. He was done. But we would have been ready. We would have been ready for war because we were going to get that uh, bleed off once again. We would have uh, literally uh, bled him dry like a like a stuffed pig. You know, we would, we would have had him good, good to go right there with Bruno. And that's why I like this build. But there's one final build that I want to show with y'all. We'll look at the time. Yeah, we're going to be going over 20 minutes. It is what it is. I don't care. I am enjoying. I'm basking in the greatness that is Bruno San Martino. He has not let me down yet. We got one more match against one more trickster. One that a lot of people might not consider, you know, they'd probably look at him as only as a trainer. But, uh... When you look through all the text when it comes to his moves, you end up finding out this guy, yeah, you don't you don't want to sleep on him. And you'll find out who I'm talking about very, very soon. Stay tuned while we finish this up. All right, y'all. We're here for the final, final match of this gameplay. Now, we're already going to go over 20 minutes. There's no way around it. But I want to show you this build because this build is dangerous, y'all. This is crazy. We're going to be running the double red green with this one. The shoulder hold, the submission, which is going to turn four submission gems, if not broken after six turns of 8.7K damage into silence gems. Remember, botch gems, zero damage, but, but you gain MP. Silence, gem, uh, silence gems, you receive damage, but you don't get your MP. This is going to be pivotal. We have the Canadian backbreaker destroying those red gems so we can cycle. And we have the shoulder block for that bleed damage for five turns. So just think about that. Six turns of submission damage plus guaranteed five turns of bleed damage.
Someone's going to be tapping out and going naughty night. Now, there's a couple ways we could have done this, y'all. We could have kept Steel on there for Green MP. And we could have done it like a rude build. Basically, you use a, use a MP trainer, gem generation, or gem destruction, so you can build the other two moves. Instead, we're going with Sting here for red MP, so we can get those reds off sooner. Implement that submission, implement those bleeds faster. But we still have Barrett on here for red gem destruction, as well as Asuka for berserk mode damage, and Uso for submission damage. So let's go up against the nation leader, Farouk, and you let me know by the end of this video, when we do our wrap-up, what you think of Bruno San Martino, legend technician, technician legend, the Italian strongman. Stay tuned. And here we are, y'all, round three, fight. Bruno San Martino, the Italian strongman versus Farouk, the nation leader. Let's see how this board treats us, y'all. Okay, right out of the bat, right out of the gate, I should say, we are already Gucci with that red match right there. But then we dropped another one, but he didn't go for it. That's unfortunate, y'all. That's very, that's highly unfortunate. Now, what we're going to do here is something a little interesting. We're going to implement the bleed. We're going to implement that bleed there, all right? But we're also going to get our green match and we also got more red so that's good we wanted to take that away from Farouk we want to get that out of the way because Farouk is so dangerous when it comes to getting these reds off because he can implement a skip turn happy happy birthday to my cuz OV what's happening baby now we're going to go ahead and put these down on the board so silence gems I want to put these on certain colors so I'm going to actually put some on the red and put some on the purple because that's what Farouk's going for. Now, remember, we already implemented the bleed move already. So he's going to be bleeding like a stuffed pig while also getting the submission taken down that uh, taking down that crucial, crucial, mad, mad, crazy red combination he likes to let off. So we're going to see what happens here. There's a few a few reds on the board. Will there be some more? Not yet. So we're going to go ahead, take that green, going to get that yellow combination there. We're going to see what happens here. All right, there we go. Now we're going to destroy these reds again. Now look at his health. Look at his health. This is going to be beneficial to a lot of people. And again, it's it's over. I'm telling, I got a feeling ooh, ooh, that tonight Bruno's going to win this fight. <laughs> And you see the silence gems that still remain because they were not broken. So we're going to go ahead and see Farouk's going to tap. So Farouk's going to tap. The bleed is in. The submission is in. He, he's out. He's out. He's done. He's done and still had two turns of bleed. This is madness. What's causing all this madness? Woo! From Slick Rick, the Bruno man. Oh my God. Oh, the Italian strongman is nothing to mess with, y'all. Nothing to mess with. I legit want to tell y'all this. This guy is a solid unit. Do I feel that he could be more broken, top tier, one turn, two turner? Hey. This was all without perks. So again, imagine what the other broskies, Davey D, DJ NIZT, Benny, Big Papa Bry, OG Gerson are going to be cooking up for y'all. Just think about that, the possibilities. This is him without no perks. This is just him going full, full wrecking at the gym, clanging and banging, no perks, no titles, no medals. You dig? Dude's a problem. Dude is a problem. We won each match. Three different builds. The possibilities are endless. I've always been the type of guy that says I love versatility in a unit. And Bruno has that. He killed it with the shoulder, with the shoulder hold, the Canadian backbreaker, the shoulder block, bleed submission combo, deadly. Make work out of Farouk. He killed it with the body slam, the punch flurry, and the belly to back suplex against tough Seth, okay, he even wrecked it against Cactus Jack with the body slam, the Canadian backbreaker, and the shoulder block, 
You can easily opt out the shoulder block with the shoulder hold. Two finishers, in a sense. Low charge moves. Quick work and easy. If you're the type that invests in perks, you got mad epic titles lined up for this uh, this uh, for this man. Bruno is going to get the job done for you. To pull or not to pull, it's easy. I'd pull for him. He's going to be bringing new life to the legend era category. He's going to be bringing life to the technician class. He's solid. I legit think that him, man, him and like uh, like a Andre or a Lex Luger together, those submissions, the red gems, the fuel, this type of build here, deadly. You put him and Jake the Snake Roberts in a tag team, that bleed sub combo, man, he's going to be putting people to sleep. Sheesh, sheesh. I mean, you could put him with Kevin Nash. You could put him with Goldberg. You could put it. You could put him with Vader. There are multiple people that you can team this guy up with, and they're just going to be bodying anything and everything. There's no way around it. You run that green, you could put him with Ronda Rousey in a mixed match. You could with the Reds. You could easily put him with Alexa. You could put him with freaking Zombie Sasha. He He's just so versatile. He, he finds a space no matter what. And that's what I'm saying, y'all. Versatility is key. It's important to me as a champions player, as a YouTube content creator for WWE champions. It's not just about one turn and two turning. It's about being prepared for offensive situations. Defensive situations, showdown mode, faction feuds, blitzes, invasions if they return. You gotta be ready. When will they drop new books of the road? You already know how challenging it is. This guy answers a lot of those problems. He checks a lot of boxes. I'm sorry that this is taking longer than expected. We went over the 25 uh, minute mark, but bad times don't last. There's gonna be a showdown tournament this upcoming weekend. Bruno may possibly be on a banner. He may possibly be the reward in one of the contests. Go for him. In my opinion, go for him. He's going to change your roster for the better. It's going to be worth your time in the grind, even worth your disposable income if you have it. I strongly suggest getting one of the founding fathers, one of the forefathers of wrestling, the Italian strongman, Legend technician, technician legend, Bruno San Martino, this upcoming weekend. Because we do have a showdown tournament going live. Stay tuned to that. But before I'm out of here, two things I want to say. Outside of bad times don't last. Number one, in the link in the description below, I will be providing both a link to Wendy Richter, showboat legend, female, rockin' wrestling's gameplay. Yes, it's 40 plus minutes and there are shorter videos out, but if you want to support your boy, you know what I do for these MLCs as I continue to be blessed with the opportunity to do these exclusive gameplays for you. I put the links in the description below so you know where to go. But also, I will be providing the link to my brother, Benny's freaking kickoff town up live stream it was awesome i stopped through a lot of people a lot of members of my beloved hashtag champions fam show love not only to me but the other champions content creators so that's why i always name drop their names in these videos because y'all show me love their uh, their people show me love i want you to show them love in return but second i want y'all it's gonna be crazy as hell y'all peep this at 8 30 p.m. Well, pardon me. Correction. <laughs> it's going to be ending in the p.m.s. At 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the OG Gerson will be doing a special live stream with the community manager himself, Furpo, stopping through to answer y'all questions. Going to be mad, crazy, mad lit. Who knows? You might see him do some Bruno San Martino live stream gameplay, and y'all can't say anything. It'll make your day. I tried to make it rhyme. I'm sorry. I try to do it all the time. But the point is, the broski's going to be coming through. He's going to be doing a live stream from 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time until, I believe, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So who knows who might drop through? The bad guy might stop through and show some love. Benny, DJ, David Boy, Big Papa Bry, holla if you hear me. We might all be through there. 
You know, the little rascals at it again. You know, yours truly, Buckwheat, keeping it nice and sweet and subtle, baby. But that's it for me, y'all. The Italian Strongman coming soon. Check out the link to Benny's live stream from the Kick All Town Up, where we were chopping it up with all of you, my beloved hashtag champion fam mates. Thank you all for stopping through and showing the boy love. We talked and talked creatively, and one name that happened to pop up was Bruno San Martino. Lo and behold, I get off of work, and boom, there he is on my account. And by the time you see this video, he will already be removed from my account, although I will miss him surely. And I'm not going to be pulling for him, but if he is in those milestones for the showdown tournament, then best believe your boy is going to try to grind it out. No life to get it, get it in and bring him home. But outside of that, y'all... Check out Benny's live kickoff live stream. Uh, it was live stream. It was beast mode. Make sure to stop through OG Gerson's crazy hour stream starting at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and concluding at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Community manager of WWE Champions himself, Furpo, will be stopping through here and there, popping his head in to answer your questions. Be respectful. Ask legit questions no question is useless no question is stupid but at the same time don't ask a rhetorical question if you already know the answer if there's already resources provided to you that answer that question don't waste the time invest the time and ask a true genuine question that gives proper resolve and resolution to all that are participating in that special stream because who knows there might be a special giveaway i ain't saying nothing but i'm saying something you know what i mean so i hope you enjoyed this video mad love to every single one of you and my beloved hashtag champions fam do yourselves a favor after you leave a thumbs up and leave a like, if you want to join my beloved hashtag champions fam, got it right this time. If you're new to the channel or you've been around for a while and you finally decide you want to join the family, do yourselves a favor after leaving that like, after hitting that thumbs up, by dropping a people's elbow on that subscribe button, as well as hitting a razor's edge on the bell icon to receive all future notifications from this channel. Mad love to every single one of you and my beloved hashtag champions fam. Good pulling, good feuding, good blitzing, good farming. It's definitely a good time to be a champion. Once again, link to Wendy Richter, Rockin' Wrestling, Legend Showboat, four-star gold gameplay, going to be down in the description below. Link to the boy, forgive me if I chop up your name wrong, Benny Smajas, kickoff talent up, contest live stream will be in the link in the description below and make sure to check out whether I, it's already started by the time this video is uploaded or not it will be starting at 8 30 a.m eastern standard time and concluding at 4 30 p.m eastern standard time show love to the og himself gerson's gaming until next time y'all Thank you for the opportunity. Mad love. And remember this. Bad times don't last. But bad guys do. Peace.